Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we found the best moments when toxic women fail to make men simp. Now let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. Would you rather me a missionary or doggy? Oh, hell, I didn't know history questions, what the f***? <laughs> hell, what the f***? Oh, no. <laughs> there ain't no history questions. Answer it! No, I can't, I'm married. I agree with it. So you're married to him? No, someone else though. What those guys would rather do is go home and hug their wives. On the jail for assaulting somebody because you stole. Smile, baby. You just dad smacked me in my face, right? Yo, you're going to jail, right? You see it? You smacked me, right? Oh. I bet you're going to jail. You might still have to get the story for a legal Thank you. She smacked me. That's it. Yeah, you literally stole. Then you got mad because you got confronted. And then now you're going to jail because you decided to smack me. Bozo, still going to tag you and post you up, idiot. Put your hands on people. I heard you. Good. God bless you. Ladies, if you can't do the time, then you really can't do the crime. Her face didn't just change for the big reveal, it changed with every frame. She flipped out because she almost swerved into us, and we honked at her. She brake checked us three times, and stopped traffic twice until she eventually ended up next to us at the light. Before this she was trying to open the doors on both sides, and started banging on both of our windows. What the? I don't... Oh, she's going off on other people now. She's got to be on something. What? Classic what? off highway. Gents, this is what happens when men simp over women. Entitled behavior, thinking there will never be any consequences. The first day, I had 25 students. By day two, I had 19. Because six parents switched out of the class because they saw me. And they were like, there's no freaking way. Before I even got a word in. Do I think that it is okay for a parent to see me and go, not around my kid? No, I don't think that's okay. I feel like that's really crossing the line. It's not still quite. the right of the parent to make that decision as to whether or not they want their child to learn from you. Okay. Like, it's still that parent's right. Like, you can disagree with their motivations, their motives, their ideas, Would you say but that it's still their child. Yeah, how about we leave the parenting to, you know, the parents? I think that men are valuable in the sense that they provide. That's about it. Do you I feel like hate that goes men? Forever. Um, kind of, yeah. I would say, uh, in my world with men, you're guilty until proven innocent. Do you have any brothers? I do. I have a brother. I have an older brother, yeah. Do you hate him? No. Is his only worth to provide for you? No, he doesn't provide for me. He's so, my brother. I love him. So he has worth outside of providing for yeah, you? Yeah, he's my brother. What I love him. What about your father? Same thing? He's my father. So just every other man except your immediate family, they're not valuable unless they're providing for you? Um, they're not valuable until they prove to me that they're valuable. By providing for you? Sure. It could be providing for me, yeah. What are the other ways they could prove it? No, actually, I think it's just providing. Okay. Right. Men are providers, so go do that job. Go learn a trade. Go do something. Well, you said that that's all they're good for. Yeah. And what are you good for? A lot of things. Like? I'm funny. I'm smart. You haven't demonstrated I'm, that yet. I'm a, okay. Well, neither, that's your opinion. I'm a of, musician. Of either, either I dance. You the dance? Yeah, the list goes on and on. What a great quality. You can dance. What do you bring to the table, though? What do I bring to the table? Yeah. I'm smart. I'm heck. funny. I'm attractive. I have talents. I don't needed. know if men are so useless that their only job is to be providing for you. It sounds like you're just a typified eater. Like, I don't know what you're really bringing to the table. You're just kind of consuming resources, right? I to mean, help you want to hear the, the, the answer that I could be domesticated and I can cook and clean and do all that? I can. No, that's not what I'm asking. What I'm asking is what a value are you bringing to society? By being me. By I being know. you. <laughs> I'm enough. I am enough. <laughs> okay. So to get this straight, she wants half of the world's population to prove their worth by providing for her? Yeah, I think we'll pass. I also need someone to handle me. And only an alpha or a double alpha can do that. You may have heard rumors of the double alpha. How do we identify him? We all know that alpha means good and beta means bad. Life is exactly that simple. We also know that women have been raising their standards. 
all by themselves. That's why the new standard is now the double alpha. Women need someone better than them. Smarter than them, fitter than them, bigger than them, more inspiring than them, more successful than them. Otherwise, uh, wh where's the attraction? The double alpha is like the regular alpha, but double. That means he's 12 feet tall, with a 12 pack, and he makes 12 figures. So what do you do if you're a pathetic regular alpha? I know I'm asking, maybe some women don't mind, but I mind. I need to be inspired by the guy, otherwise I'll eat them for breakfast. And your options are either be this or get eaten. Kind of funny how women who can't go from being sixes to sevens now want a man who's better than a 10. Can you rate me on a scale of one to 10? What, again? Can you rate me on a scale of one to 10? You? Yeah. Eight. Why not a ten? You're not my type. What makes you what what makes me not your type? You are not blonde. Oh. So if I was blonde would I be a ten? Maybe. Maybe. You okay. must be blonde, then I can uh, say if you are a ten or not. I feel like I'm not your type because you might be into that more than into me. Again please? I said, I feel like you might be into that more than you are into me. I, I you know, like, instead of females. Do you understand? I don't understand you. That's fine. Bye. Bye. He was being generous with the eight, but she just couldn't take it and walk away. IQ test. Okay. My hands have ten fingers. How mm -hmm. many fingers do ten hands have? Ten fingers. My hands have 10 fingers. How many fingers do 10 hands have? Oh, 100. I'm so confused. Bruh. That's what happens when your only skill is batting your eyelashes and getting away with everything. I never knew how women argued, but after 20 years of losing every significant battle in a relationship, I finally figured out how they argued. This is how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right, if they're right, they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees apologizing, begging for forgiveness. No problem with that. Totally respect it. But here's the thing. If they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off-road. They start thinking of shit you're sensitive about. Maybe you don't get along with your dad. And in their head, they just start concocting this evil statement. Totally designed. This desperate Hail Mary attempt to make you so fucking mad, you just call them a c***. That's what it is. And trumps all the they did to start the argument. Now it's not about that one. That's no reason to call me a And then that's it. You're in this room now, right? So I noticed that anytime she was losing a fight, out of nowhere, she'd just be like, well, that's why you're just going to grow old and be alone. Then I'd, I'd lose my shit. The next thing you know, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes for the ninth time in a row. This is what the argument was about. I was so right. What happened? Next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, and they start out of nowhere, okay? You're winning, and they just start saying that crazy shit out of nowhere. Just know in that moment you've won the fight, okay? All right? Don't get mad. Bob and weave, slip all of that shit. Maybe because yeah, you got a little Just let that slide. Stay in the pocket of the argument. Okay? It's over. The argument is over. You've won. Just take a knee and run out the clock, all right? Yes, lean on the ropes, let them punch themselves out, and then in the end you throw their psychology right back at them. Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. Low blows are basically how women win arguments, because there ain't no way otherwise. The kids in the back didn't want their food to get cold watching her do whatever that was. Fly, Valley Vision, look at this. I got both my baby mamas chasing me. Fly, both my baby mamas, my first and my third. Y'all not lit like me. Look at them. both of them. They trying to keep. They can't keep a real damn. Look at this shit. Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! I'm going viral! I got my baby mama chasing me! That d good! I done thug these bitches to they Man, these bitches out here chasing me! You know you that n***a when you got both your baby mama chasing you, man. 
I'm that n I got both and my bitch bad. Look at her. Say hey, baby. Hey, baby. And my bitch bad. And my bitch bad. <laughs> Both my baby mama chasing me. Look, I'm that nigga. I'm that nigga on my bitch back to seat bad. Where they at? We going live. We going viral. Somebody make me go viral. Of all the ways to get back at your man, a high-speed car chase would be right at the end of that list. That covers my life. How old are you? I'm 23. And what do you do for a living? I vibe. <laughs> I'm joking. No, I do acting and social media. What would you say you spend in a typical month? I can say this online. Roughly? Between like five to eight. How do you spend that money? Shopping and Uber. And rent and stuff? <sighs> my dad covers my rent. <laughs> How much a month are you paying in rent then? Or is your dad paying? I pay yearly. My dad covers. I'm Nigerian. For everyone out there, you know in the culture, that's just how we are. But yeah, my dad covers everything. My dad covers my life. How much do you think you need to earn a year to be comfortable living in London? I don't know how it works in terms of like how much people make in this country. I can't lie to you. Me personally, I need like, I need a lot. I need a lot. Because <laughs> I spend a lot. I need a lot. How much do you earn a year? I don't really have like a base for how much I earn. If we're talking about what I get from my dad, yeah. I can't say. Unfortunately, I have to keep that one to my chest. Above 100k? Just know I'm enjoying life. So her earlier statement was right. All she really does is vibe. Damn, are you like a tub of ice cream? Because I just want to spoon you all night. Wait, wait, wait. Please don't kill me. I just wanted to say you look good, damn. Ruined his day and violated his privacy, all for a few hundred likes. How tall are you? I'm 5'3". How much do you weigh? That's none of your business. I told you I was fat. Oh, okay. We don't play that sh on my channel. You get your big fat ass on somewhere then. God damn! I don't deal with you big sassy ass frauds. Bitch don't kill my vibe. Bitch don't kill my vibe. If you think you can get out here and be like Danny's big ass, Go knock yourself out. If you're proud of yourself, you wouldn't keep them numbers confidential. What's your name? Wiley. Okay, Wiley, kiss or slap? Uh... Me. I think I'm gonna choose slap, bro. Where are you gonna slap me? Right here, bro. You just slap me. Uh oh! Should have given them a third option. Walk away from whatever I'm doing for views. I'm gonna honestly be honest with you, okay? Be honest. I ain't had mother say December of last year. I'm gonna flirt with whoever the fuck I want to. And you should. I'm gonna flirt with whoever the fuck I want to. If all these motherfuckers buy me a drink, then they can all motherfuckers buy me a drink. But guess what? That don't mean they're gonna fuck me. Yeah. I agree with you. Okay. I can go on a date with all these motherfuckers. And guess what? They not gonna fuck me. I agree. Women choose who has. Men are easy because men are easy. No men are whores. Men are easy. Men are whores. Men are easy. Men are whores. No, I'm a man. You can. I'll give you a dollar nah. and they'll do it. Nah. Nah. And they'll do it. Nah, nah. And they look, will do it. They got a wrong perspective, perspective on men. You can no, ask a man no. how much do you have no, and they'll no. give you how much no, they'll have no, because no. they. That's all they get. They do, care about. Do do women pay for dick? No. Do women pay no. for dick? No, men don't pay for pussy. Yes, the fuck. No, they don't. No, they don't. A man, a, a man that really knows himself don't pay for no kind of pussy. They're definitely single by choice. It's just everyone else's choice. Come on now, dawg. Come on, man. Okay, come on. There has to be limits to stuff like this. She looks like a Pixar mom, but in real life, and not in a good way. You got terrible internet and a jacked up smoke detector. Speak. I'm a real woman, and I'm here to talk to you like a real woman, and you don't have to bash women like that. Why you just can't edify the little sh woman that you were talking to earlier? Why you had to owe you a sh What's wrong with being a sh What is wrong with it? What's wrong with wearing a wig or a weave? Women are women. I know men like wimp wigs. Y'all don't like no natural thing. You a lie. Why are you trying to sit here and act like men love natural women? 
a woman is a woman and a man will be with anything they could possibly be with. They'll be with a trans, they'll be with a bi, they'll be with a man. And why y'all always just got to be trashy black women? I wear wigs, I wear weave. I got short hair, long hair, um, all of it. I'm a variety woman. And no, the tattoos are fake. Those are not even real tattoos. So I don't deserve a man because I wear a wig or I wear weave. I don't care if they got five baby daddies. Maybe all five of the baby daddies wasn't good men. It happens. Shut the fuck Women really think berating a man for having a type will get them to change their minds. What is your worst dating experience you've ever had? I've got a few. Okay. One time, one time I, I met a girl, yeah? Mm. And she pulled up and I just left her straight away. Because she was dressing, she was dressing like a GTA sh I just, I just dashed. But the actual worst one, yeah? So I met this girl, yeah? So we went to the cinema. First of all, she was late. So that's the first, that's- Don't be late, don't be late. That's the first red flag, yeah? If you're late to the day, to the cinema day, you shouldn't be getting food. Cause you're late. You've already wasted my money and my time. Yeah, like standing. I was just standing there. Like, just, she said she wants a hot dog. She got mayonnaise on it. She got ketchup. The reason this is important, yeah. Context. We were young. We started getting a little nasty, nasty in the cinema. We started the doing cinema. Started, we was young, like. Okay. You know, cool. We get to PG. You know, did a little <laughs> Spider-Man. And then I wanted to do the smell test. What? I, okay. I wanted to do the smell test, so I was like, okay. So let me just kind of. No. Ladies, let this be a PSA. It's hygiene over makeup any day of the year. Why was she looking like that? This man is doing God's work out here, literally. Your woman is going through like emotional stuff. It's probably because of you. Emotions is a you problem. There's nobody else. Only you feel your emotions. Other human beings don't feel your emotions. You can't blame someone else for making you feel a certain type of way. Furthermore, if someone has the ability to manipulate your emotions, they are your master. So that means that you need to have the ability to regulate your own emotions so someone can't control your emotions man had to break it down for her that the world isn't responsible for a woman feeling some type of way get out of the street get out of the road get out of the road i'm not gonna leave get the f in my face if you keep yelling leave me alone listen if you keep yelling i don't care leave me Simple action, but. Oh, I'm not doing no, that. You're not going on the road. No, I'm not. You're not going to go on the road. Give her a citation for no proof of insurance. Okay, give me That's a citation. Fine. I don't care. That's fine. What am I getting a citation for? I already explained it to you. I'm I not going to sit here and debate with you. An insurance card! That you told me, you just told me that I should myself and f That's what you told us. You have insurance, you are involved in an accident. You need to provide insurance. I don't have the then information. Who is, then who is it, Kayla? I don't know. Okay. Would you like to give it to us at some point? You want to tell us what happened? The light was green and my tires are full. Ah, yes. Scream and wail and tell the cops to get out of your face. That'll save you from serving out a sentence. I don't think that there was one perfect man that you seen on the show. But you decide to speak on every little thing about this one man. And you talk like my little brother. I feel Where like I'm from? talking to my little I don't like that you put the fake flower in your vest trying to make it look better than what it was. Yeah. I don't like that you brought a fake briefcase. There's probably nothing in there. And it's also halfway open. You should probably close it. Well, also, well, I don't like that the fact that you put briefcase. your hat. I feel like it's corny. Because you keep constantly trying to reach out to me after the show. So I honestly feel like 
I, I honestly, no, I do not. you 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 try to play this kind is corny because you attacking me as a person. That's who I am. Bro. Like I came on the show, it's who I am, and you telling me that everything about me you don't like. But then outside of the show, you want to have a conversation or a hug or a smile on my face or hey Daryl or or it's a us. It ain't no us thing. The only reason why. Me and you had a viral clip is because I handled myself well. I very well could have been looked at as a sassy or an evil man if I would have gave you the response that you deserve. But I gave you what I felt like it needed to be presented because a lot of young men get tricked out of their spot dealing with young women like yourself. And I don't want to be the crash out example. I want, I want an example that no matter what, you could still be able to hold yourself in a certain type of, a certain type of life. And that's how you should conduct yourself against a woman who wants wants you for clout in front of a camera, and a relationship when they're not rolling. Amanda? Do you have a boyfriend? No. You want a boyfriend? Yeah, we could like find you one, like right now. This guy with the pickle right there, the pickle guy? Next. Why? Not my type. I don't like the pickle. Uh, these guys maybe? Yes, 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 yes. That one. right there? Yo! Right, I'll ask him. Yo, bro, um, my friend, she just said you're cute, and like, she wants your number. I don't feel the same way, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think she's good looking at all. Oh. Boy. Wait, what? I don't think she's attractive at all. Why? You didn't come out pretty? I don't know. <laughs> they all come back to the pickle guy in the end, don't they? I'm in a relationship and it ends. My exes, they always want to remain friends. And as a matter of fact, I actually brought one of my exes here today. My question to you is, for my future boyfriends, how do I not scare them off? Like, let them know that it's okay me being friends with my exes. Is, is this real life? Stand up, uh, dude. You remain friends with your exes. Yes. You really think this boy right here wants to be your friend? No. We're actually friends. I don't even know what you're talking about. You really think that all AJ want is just to be your friend. You think he came down here to the show with you in hopes of remaining your friend. What's your advice for me for my future boyfriend? What future boyfriend? You think he trying to help you get a future boyfriend? He's standing there blocking as we speak. We tell each other the truth. Because RJ, you're lying to me. Are y'all going to eat after this? Oh, I hope so. I'm hungry. Mm. Yeah. The fact she had to ask that question just shows how foolish she is. And poor RJ. Him being dragged through all of this is just not right. All right, girl. So we're starting off with the kettlebell swings into a squat. These are literally chef's kiss. One of my favorite exercises. We're targeting upper body, core, and glutes, legs all at once, okay? Next, we're going into left to right lunges with the barbell. You cannot lose with this exercise. I'm telling you, do this. Your glutes will be on fire. One of the best glute exercises ever. Y'all smoking! See, this right here is the reason I shop at Target, because you ain't got to deal with this nonsense. Listen, shorty, I understand you look good and your body is bomb, but that's not going to stop me from telling the truth. What the hell is going on here? Listen, with y'all fitness influencers, gym folks, trainers, which I don't understand is 99% of the world thinks we're weirdos. They think there's something wrong with us already. So why are you going to go out in public and do a full-blown workout in the vegetable aisle? I'm going there to get fruit. I'm trying to get some chicken breasts and some water. I'm trying to feed the family and feed the crib. And I got to worry about you doing kettlebell swings. Watch how the kids look at her. The kids look at her like she crazy. You scaring the kids away. This is ridiculous. There's no reason for that. Keep the workouts in the gym, bro. Why are you working out in a grocery store? That's not what it's there for. There are tons of social media fitness influencers these days, so they all have to do all sorts of stupid and bizarre stuff just to stay relevant. You guys have made it to the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel in the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.